What's up YouTube? This is Red Zone 101. Got a video for you. Um, this is a firearm that I just purchased I wanted to talk about that I think is a great option for home defense. What I have here is a Stoger coach gun. And this is chambered not in 12 gauge, not in 20 gauge, but in 410. Now this right here I think it's a great option for self-defense. Um, granted, I know a lot of people will talk about 410. Are you serious for self-defense? I mean, look at that little bitty cartridge there, I mean, compared to the 12 gauge. But let me tell you, a 410 at self-defense uh, distances, I'm talking about within your home, let's say, anywhere between... Uh, let's say 10 or else, you know, 10 to 15 to 20 feet. This thing is awesome. Now, I kind of put a an ammo holder like on the back there. So this way I've got more uh, rounds. But this is a great option. Simple to use. Uh, you got two triggers here. Uh, you got two barrels. So you got two shots. But... To me, that's more than enough to get the job done in a uh, self-defense uh, situation. Now, this here, and a lot of people will really dog the uh, 410 shotgun, which is really amazing because if you think about it, 410 handguns are looked at as hand cannons and thinking, wow, I mean, I mean, like most people go, wow, those are great. You know, it shoots a 410 shot shell, uh, shoots... Uh, double odd buck. Wow, that's in a handgun. That's awesome. But when it comes to the 410 shotgun, people will go, well, why don't you just get a 12 gauge? Well, let me tell you what I like about the 410 with shotgun. Number one, recoil. Follow-up shots with this are a lot faster and a lot easier with a 410 than a 12 gauge. The other thing, um, Granted, in a self-defense situation, this really won't matter as much, but uh, a 410 is a lot quieter, if you can say that about a shotgun, than a 12-gauge. So you've got that. A 12-gauge going off in your home in self-defense, granted, it's going to be deafening. And this right here, that too, oh, look at that, that beautiful wood on that. This is a beautiful gun. I just got this. But even a 410, it's going to have a lot of noise, but nowhere near that of a 12. Now, a lot of people think that it's uh, underpowered. I disagree. With these here, that's a double out buck, I'm pretty sure. That's five pellets, or is that triple out? But anyway, bottom line, you got five of these coming out at one time. That's like getting hit... From what I understand, and correct me like if I'm wrong, it's like getting hit with a nine mil five times all, all, all at once. <laughs> I mean, dang, that's that's awesome. That's in one, in one trigger pull here. Then again, you've got these loads, which are really great from what I hear. Uh, the PDX1 Defenders. You got five pellets. Excuse me, four plated pellets coming out. And you got 16 BBs. So, you're going to hit your target. The only thing about these are sometimes the BBs spread out a little more than what I would like. So, in a self-defense situation, you don't want anyone near that person because you don't want them getting sprayed like with a BB. But otherwise, this is a really great load. And as you see here, I've got myself set up. i got my holder here. It's got 10 of them here. So, I can... And uh, loading and reloading this is really, I mean, it's simple. To open it, you just pull the lever here slightly over. I'm doing this with one hand. And boom, it's, um, um, it's open. Load it up. Lock it. And boom, you're ready to rock. Now, the only thing I've done different to this one um, than, let's say, your normal... Uh, Stoger 410 is something I didn't like about it um, and and some of you might agree with me some of you might not is that 
when you open it up and you load it, once you lock it back, what happens is the safety here automatically comes on. So you have to remember to take the safety off to fire it. I didn't like that. So what I did, went on YouTube and looked at some of your cowboy uh, action shooters, and they showed a way that you can disable that automatic safety. Now, since it's only me and my wife in the house, I don't have kids, I'm not worried about um, having to manually put on the safety. I mean, that's not an issue to me. As a matter of fact, on most of your self-defense handguns, most, uh, well, most people that practice self-defense actually prefer not having a safety on their firearm, especially their handgun. Because in an, emergency, well, in an emergency situation, if you forget the safety's on, you draw your weapon and you go to shoot, forget the safety's on, you're shooting, you're pulling the trigger, and nothing's happening. And I mean, you know, hey, when you're stressed, you know, you forget things. Um, so, anyway, so I said that to say this. Having to manually put the safety on doesn't... Uh, doesn't present an issue to me so that's what I did with mine so when I load it I just remember to put the safety on and it's really simple um, modification you can do do uh, to this gun you can go on YouTube there's people that have uh, that have shown how uh, to do this I'm not going to say I'm going to recommend it to you but this is what this is what worked uh, for me and this is what I felt really comfortable with I didn't like that automatic safety just coming on. I want to have the option of putting it on myself. Now, something else I wanted to mention. Now, granted, I talked about how you got the uh, the, du the double or triple odd buck to use in this uh, firearm, which is really great. You got the PDX-1. This is a great load here for self-defense. Uh, um, I actually am going to use that in my Derringer, too which I'll do a video on later, but <laughs> it's also a 410 Bonds Arm. Great gun. But this right here, um, I wouldn't even be hesitant to use shot, um, shot in it. Bird shot. Now, a lot of people are probably shaking their heads, and okay, he's gone too far. Bird shot, really? Yes, yeah, bird shot. At self-defense distances, bird shot can definitely deter a threat. I'm not going to say it's going to put them down. I'm not going to say that it's not. But this is a number four here. And I want to show here what a number four actually can do at 15 feet. Okay, let's walk over here for a minute. This is a little setup that I put, uh, that I put together. It's not very uh, well, scientific, but I did this from uh, 15 feet. I've got two layers of denim here. And from 15 feet, and this this is foam here. Granted, it's not the uh, ballistics gel, but this foam is really thick. I mean, you've got to seriously push to get that knife in. I mean, if I just do this, I mean, you got to use a little bit of force. This foam here will actually stop my uh, crossbow that's moving at, I think, like 340 feet. Per second which isn't really you know but still it'll stop it with no problem so this foam is pretty thick now shooting this denim here and I got two layers here and shooting shooting this foam it actually went well first of all let's look at the shot pattern right here that's my uh, shot pattern for my uh, number four shot at uh, 15 feet that's basically a fist. That's a really nice, a really nice tight pattern. And the Stoker Coach Gun 410 is actually a smooth board. And that's a really tight pattern. So, I mean, you're going to have to aim it, but you're not going to worry about it spreading everywhere and hitting everybody or what have you. So, it went through the first layer of denim. Went through the second layer of denim. And I did two shots here. Went through the foam. This really thick foam. 
Okay, let's do this. There's the uh, exit holes from the foam. Went into the, uh, let me see, second layer of denim here. Third layer, excuse me. Went through the third layer. And the fourth layer you're starting to see with some of the, uh, the BBs here, the pellets, like what have you. But went through there, and if I do this here, went into, this is half inch um, oak here. Went into the half inch oak, did not go through. Let me get that. Actually almost did go through there. But that's impressive. That's at 15 feet. Went through four layers of denim. Went through this thick foam here. And almost penetrated a half inch of oak plywood. And oak plywood is pretty thick. I mean, this stuff is... That's pretty thick. So, to me, at self-defense... At a self-defense distance of 15 feet... That's more than enough to go through, let's say, if the person has on heavy layers of clothing, uh, the uh, attacker, the home invader, it's going to go through that. Uh, going through this foam lets me know it's definitely going to go through um, and hit some vitals. Okay? And almost going out the back. Go, that's four layers of denim. That's a lot of denim. Bottom line is what I'm saying is this right here would be an excellent... Um, means of self-defense for uh, the home. I mean, for home, uh, for home, uh, if I can get the word out, it's cold out here. I have to go, go in in a minute. This would be an excellent choice for home defense. Simple to use, simple to keep up, more than enough power to get the job done, and you can't beat a double barrel shotgun. So anyway, this is my Stoger 410 shotgun. Um, like I said, uh, this is just a great, this is just a great gun. I've got it set up for me. As I said, I've got the, uh, the extra round holder, so I've got plenty of extra rounds with me. Um, beautiful gun. So anyway, guys, want to thank you for watching. As always, hopefully this might have been helpful. This might be a great gun for someone, let's say, a woman or someone who's older heck you don't have to be a woman or someone that's older just period I love this gun um, and, have, and uh, would have no problem using this there's a car that's going past me now that's got a flat and that's what you're hearing now alright guy okay anyway <laughs> back to the video well, well thank you guys for watching um, this is Red Zone 101. Uh, stay safe and healthy. Peace.